And so for this one, we're actually going to we're actually going to change things up. We're going to try something brand new. Um, if this, um, I think it's going to be okay, but it might be a little it might be a little busted. So let's try this out. So all right. Um, um, so earlier, uh, let me see. This is my Twitter. So um, if I pull this up, right here, uh, Brooke Bowman, friend of the show, she was on a, she was on a few weeks ago. She writes, "Help me, what should I be for Halloween?" Beneath that, Shri Kote says, "Ask stability AI or smells like a vibe war topic," and uh, she's uh, enjoying that. And I'm considering, and I think I can. I think we can make this work. So for this next one. This is going to be kind of a high concept moment. All right. So let's, uh, let's give this a shot. Uh, Israel, you're tweeting about this. Are you watching? Are you able to, are you able to uh, sign in? Anyway, we'll figure it out. Uh, DM me uh, if uh, you guys have questions. I will check them as soon as I start this round. But so this is going to operate a little bit differently. So the category is going to be the same as normally. And for this, I'm going to put um, uh, draw a scare, draw a, a trendy costume for an edgy, a trendy costume for an edgy, uh, 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 socialite. There we go. So the vibe is going to be a trendy costume for an edgy socialite, and um, and we're going to put um, girl in a Halloween costume. So right here it says common prompt. What that means is on the next screen. So I'm just going to type this in. Girl in a Halloween costume. And uh, your draw mode, start round. Here we go. Okay. So here's the situation. As you can see on my screen, a trendy costume for an edgy socialite. We now have a where I can actually, where if I use my mouse, is my webcam frozen again? Oh my God. What's my system memory at? Does this actually, does this at least stream? Okay, so at least the website's streaming normally. Lots of CPU used. Okay, it's coming down, but anyway. So if you just draw in here, we've got this. I mean, you can change the stroke width right here to like something like that. Um, and on here, we've got a color palette, mostly sort of tropical things from the Crayola side. Uh, by the way, Fumble Fungus, welcome to the game. By the way, you guys, if you're spectating and you want to join in, play, if you go to Vi, if you go to, you are on vibor.com slash game, it shows you up right here. Um, you are able to s swap between spectator and player on this button in the bottom left to be able to go between those views. Um, Hannah, welcome to the game. Heck yeah. So I was just explaining that uh, this is a new game mode here. And also for each one of these strokes, you can undo, redo, or clear the whole record of it. And so we're trying to help my friend Brooke, friend of the show, to figure out what she should be for Halloween. So we're going to draw a trend. Can I leave this up? I, I sort of can. I have to set it up through... Um, the dang thing. But anyway, so let's start by, uh, first I'm going to black out the background because it will do a little better job drawing a setting with, um, not just in a white space. Usually it keeps the white space there for that. There we go. Now using uh, white, I'm going to actually forget that. <laughs> we 
I'm gonna draw a face. We're gonna draw a shirt. Dress, shoes, hat. All right, there we go. And so now that we've got a picture here that we can send as uh, to Stable Diffusion, and now we're gonna append to the prompt a girl in a Halloween costume. So everyone is gonna send a girl in a Halloween costume. But now you can to add to that um, prompt of how it's gonna be sent. So a uh, girl in a Halloween costume, um, uh, witch at Halloween. Um, uh, but we're gonna make it like high class, right? High class um, uh, uh, forest vibe or um, gothic. Um, royalty. <laughs> there we go. Generate. So first, it's uploading this to my back end. Then, look at that. Okay. So we got the start of something right here. Uh, so Brooke, if you're watching, I don't know if you are, but this is a choice right here on the uh, how to do that for the witch costume, if you want to follow in that lead. Um, Maybe instead of a witch, um, we could do uh, ooh, vampire in underworld with a pointy hat, um, hyper real, um, uh, seductive. Underworld's very seductive. So we generate, see how that goes. <laughs> this is so dumb. All right. Well, hey, for for the Halloween costume, it, it's totally pulling off the um the, the the scandalous you know nature of like uh, how it goes for the evening. And look at that; it's totally preserving exactly what I drew here. Like this is exactly what I would have put together here. So how about that? Way to go, uh, SD. That's a solid. That's a solid pick. Um, where's my, where's my dang screen? There it is. Ah, there we go. Yes, docks everything. Docks the world. Good. <laughs> I just saw, I just saw Wiki's thing. Well, this is what, uh, who knows, Wiki? This is what might give you a money. Okay, so this, this is a pretty good one. Um, let's try this. Let's try, let's get super... Let's go super peculiar here. All right, so I'm going to um, I'm going to draw like one of those fancy tufted sofas. So let's give it sort of a dark red leather. Boom! There we go. All right, some legs. A little separator, so it's clearly a sofa, right? And now. Um, Actually, undo that. It looks better like that. So that's the sofa, and on it we're gonna draw um, in sort of yeah. We'll just do we'll just do black outline, very thin. Let's put um, Would you still love me if I was a worm? Would you? That's that's what she's thinking right now on the sofa, but uh, you know that's pretty awful. So, so actually, so let's see. So neck down, chest out, hips here, legs shot out, arm here, and let's paint it red. Yeah. And let's make that arm a little more white. Let's 
even give another arm. Raised into the air. Oh, and let's put long blonde hair here. So, um, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put, uh, um, sed sed seductive vampire queen sitting angrily on a couch sipping wine. Seductive vampire queens. Girl in a Halloween costume, seductive vampire queen sitting angrily on a couch, sipping wine. Generate. Let's see what happens. Remember, that's a couch. That's a person. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right? It's like it's like doing it. Um, okay, maybe the couch wasn't necessary, right? Maybe uh, I have work on so i'm gonna have to learn this week but i'll play next week for sure you got a humble fungus glad to have you glad to have you on board here this is pretty cool all right so um all right so let's let's start this over but um uh but that, that was a good drawing all right so Let's fill it in. Undo tinier. All right, here we go. Seductive vampire queen standing angrily. Bearing fangs, sipping wine. Seductive vampire queen in a red dress standing angrily. Bearing fangs, sipping wine. Let's, let's, see, let's see if it can pull off this thing. Men want one thing, and it's disgusting. Um, yeah, we want uh, we want sexy Halloween costumes. That's right. Let's see. Um, see, look at that. Perfect. It's a spinning <laughs> image. I'll play next. Then wash it. One want thing, and it's disgusting then wash it oh then wash it if that thing we want is so disgusting then wash it okay oh damn got some good stuff coming in <laughs> all right let's see um hannah adamson welcome to the game let's see says we're waiting on a submission from you should i should should i text should i just dm you through slack or something hannah i don't know hey thanks for joining i let, I let hannah know like a, like a few hours ago as i was leaving work that we're playing this game she jumped on which is so cool of her hey thanks for joining Oh, uh, looks like looks like her. She had to close the window or something. All right. Well, we got four in. Uh, if we want to do another drawing session, we can do that. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move us to the judging things unless uh, someone pops in here. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right. So this is why this button exists. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Hannah, I'm sorry. I don't, I, I don't want to spook you. Okay, <laughs> well, you can. 
we could do another drawing round if that was fun, or uh, we can do a prompting round or something like that. So anyway, so we've got um, two matches here. So and the this little button here now actually does something um, where you can also compare people's source drawings to what, what the generation was on the other side. So um, so if that's helpful in determining. Um, uh, if that's helpful in determining like a winner for um, your process on how to pull off uh, the right uh, costume here. Um, yeah. How about that? So we've got, we've got a sassy witch here with a very um, Scarlet Witch kind of look to it. Um, if we swap here. Okay. I could see, I could see the origins of form that uh, you were going for in generating that uh, costume structure, you know, um, the expression and particularly in like the bat face that you get from it, um, that was really brought out through each, each stroke of the, uh, clearly the Pollock influences and also, um, just the recognition of both the, the top and the bottom, the foreground and background, uh, very evolved. This now, now here you're really like trying to capture like the spirit of the human form, like put forward and inside of um, uh, the sort of finger painting construct. And then the computer went and it, it, it's as if it pulled from your heart to give that sort of winking face at the side um, that didn't quite manifest exactly like this maybe was a sword or something and that becomes uh, all center stage in the face uh, simply uh, simply because I'm getting more of a costume vibe I'm gonna have to go with the left but I, I, I can just feel like the interplay of forces between the latent space and our artistic uh, aspirations to the side oh and similarly here it's like um, you get this, this entire structure, almost this laced bodice as it crisscrosses in pink across the um, yellow foreground here and the pieces with the uh, person on the top. Um, if we uh, return to this, uh, the, the expression that's captured and then brought to life through it, it really is surreal. Um, here on this side, I'm very excited and proud for the expression, the feel, the look, the, the sultriness that was put all together. But as a rule, I don't vote for myself. So I'm going to go over here. All right. And so, uh, we've got four spectator votes, eight player votes. So we're going to progress from here and finish voting and boom. Uh, if we look to the top, we have got crushing it, dancing horse, nine votes total, uh, just under her, we've got Wiki, um, Wiki Gossip, uh, eight votes. And then uh, uppercase linked out, just above me, right at the bottom. And so let's see, from this round, ooh, we got three players to the left, but three total to the right. Uh, congratulations, uppercase and Wiki on this one. And if we scroll down, Dancing Horse, really, okay, you just smoked me on this one crushed it for that round um congratulations we're gonna have to share all of these with brooke as the ideas for the socialite halloween party thing i'm sure she's gonna adore each one um as spe particularly when we compare it to uh the the source imagery on each one of these right anyway so that was fun right if you guys if you guys want to do another drawing round tonight spam it in the chat but we're gonna go back to a uh, conventional stuff